We've certainly come a long way from men with brooms and shovels to the first mechanical sweeper and to today's Pelican from Elgin Sweeper. A legend in the sweeping industry for years and years, the Pelican has become America's most popular urban street sweeper. So why change a good thing? Well, the Pelican's been around a long time and it, it's a great machine and people love the machine. But as we went into the future, we realized that we needed to upgrade a lot of the ergonomics and a lot of the operator comfort features that go along with the Pelican. Customer focus groups were initiated to guide every portion of the redesign project. The people that really buy the machine helped us make the decision on what those changes were going to be. John Abramowski, new product development manager at Elgin Sweeper, worked alongside Giles and many others during the Pelican redesign project. We used a focus group methodology for gathering feedback on our product. And we did this at the start of the project and we carried it through all the way till the end of the project. Um, initially, there were nine dealers that were involved in our focus group, and they sent in um, personnel from their, from their dealership into Elgin Sweeper. We also tapped into some of our key user groups and brought those same personnel into our facility, and we were able to gather information from them. Um, included in the initial focus group was also Elgin employees. What the focus group participants really brought to us were the kind of operator compartment changes and the kind of ergonomic changes that we needed to make going forward. Some of those changes included better ingress and egress, in other words, better steps to get in and out of the machine. They certainly wanted the machine to be quieter. They wanted better visibility. They really wanted better climate control inside the cab because as they reminded us, a sweeper operator spends all day in this cab. So it really has to be comfortable uh, to make the operator as efficient and as productive as he can all day long. After countless customer interviews, focus groups, and brainstorming sessions, the future became very clear to the design team. The new Pelican would need to be quieter, more comfortable, easier to operate, and provide improved visibility, but it still needed to look like the icon it had become. Even more important, the new Pelican needed to perform as well, or better than, its predecessor. Once the needs of the customer were determined, Elgin developed and reconsidered multiple designs for a new machine that would maintain the key functions and iconic appearance of the original Pelican. The choice was difficult but the final design promised to provide unprecedented visibility, exceptional operator comfort and ease of operation, and the performance required to match today's Pelican. To understand how an operator would interface with the new design, Elgin constructed a full-sized wooden model. We built a prototype mock-up out of plywood, and we had it in a little warehouse, and we brought our our focus group in and had them sit in that plywood model to get the feedback on whether they had the vision that they needed out of the visibility, um, whether the comfort was going to be there and whether there was enough space in the cab for them to uh, use as their operator station for eight hours. Uh, we had also done a number of mock-up tests, um, one of which was on the air conditioning and heating system, where our heating and air conditioning supplier literally came in and in that same wood mocked up model put his air conditioning system with the output vents and put the little paper mache pieces in there that would actually move when the airflow moved by them. And he mapped out the whole airflow in that model. Once everyone was satisfied with the new features of the full-sized wooden mock-up, the design team at Elgin began the task of creating an entire three-dimensional CAD model of the new Pelican. But the design needed to be more than carefully drawn images. The new Pelican needed to be durable too, and every component needed to be designed for reliability and performance. Elgin used the latest techniques in stress analysis to make sure the frame was still strong and rigid, yet compact enough to maintain the original Pelican size and tight turning radius. The next essential step was to build a full-sized prototype of the new Pelican. Ron Jones, senior testing engineer at Elgin Sweeper, oversaw the test procedures used in the development of the new Pelican. Our initial test on our MP uh, 
was performed at our North Lab, which has hydraulic capabilities that allowed us to perform cycle tests. During our cycle tests, we were able to simulate real world conditions by cycling the frame as if we were hitting curbs or going down rough pothole roads. We were able to cycle the test for equivalent of 5,000 real world hours with limited damage. Well, our testing included uh, going to Bosch's Proving Ground in New Carlisle, Indiana. That's an automotive proving ground. So uh, there, you can perform brake tests, uh, test over endurance track, which have inverted bumps, uh, raised bumps, a resonant road, hill climbs. So, uh, we were very happy to see that the NP passed uh, within all of our requirements with very few modifications. Once the cab design was modified and approved, the mechanical performance needed to be tested to make sure it was up to par. The Elgin team tested each new component and recorded critical data. Here, the engine and propel system are taken to full load on a dynamometer to measure the horsepower output. To determine the lateral stability, the new Pelican model was compared to the original Pelican on a tilt table, where it easily outperformed the current model. The hydraulic components also had to be tested as a system. Here, the hydraulic system is pushed far beyond what it would be in normal sweeping applications. While it's important for all the sweeping equipment on the new Pelican to function flawlessly, it's also critical for the sweeper to stop. Like its predecessor, the new Pelican uses the propel pedal to accelerate and decelerate. Even though the propel system can slow the sweeper, the brakes still have to perform properly. The new service disc brakes worked flawlessly and stopped the sweeper in 42% less distance than the previous drum brake setup. With all the critical systems tested and confirmed, it was time to focus on what mattered most. What did the customers think? Seven beta test units were built, three S models and four P models. As part of the comprehensive test plan, Elgin distributed the new Pelican beta units to strategic locations across North America where they could get significant hours of operating time, addressing every type of sweeping application. The cities of Rochester and St. Paul participated in the new Pelican test program in Minnesota. Longtime Pelican users with experienced operators, both cities tested the new Pelican in heavy leaves during their intense leaf pickup season, as well as in early spring cleanup with frozen sand and mud. In both applications, the operators were extremely pleased with the sweeping results and impressed with the comfort and quietness of the cab. In addition, operators seem to enjoy the sweep resume function on the new Pelican. A few hundred miles away in Michigan, Warren, Ann Arbor and Birmingham, each a long-standing user of the Pelican sweeper, participated in the beta testing. Positive feedback from these beta sites centered around easier operation, a more comfortable ergonomic cab, improved sight lines, and easier access for maintenance. The customers also appreciated the new step design. Borrowing from the heavy construction equipment industry, Elgin designers made the steps from horizontal strips called grip struts. As a beneficial side effect, the operator can now see the street surface through the steps. From the frigid weather of the upper Midwest, a prototype was moved to warmer weather in Orlando, Florida. Tropical locations have a unique set of issues, such as high humidity and large vegetation. In Florida, the road debris typically includes sand, leaves, and palm fronds. Adding to the debris on the roads is all the construction going on across the state. For this test site, the selected customer, a sweeping contractor, used the Pelican for general street sweeping applications for about four months. Once they got over the amount of glass, the operators appreciated the increased visibility and quietness of the cab. And with only a few grease points, they found the new Pelican to be much easier to service and maintain on a daily basis. With the summertime heat in Florida, 
operators are often working in 95 degree temperatures with 90% humidity. Fortunately, the air conditioning system on the new Pelican provided outstanding performance, keeping the operators cool and comfortable, even on the longest, hottest days. From Florida, the new Pelican test migrated up the East Coast to the highly urbanized area of Boston. The environment in and around Boston is hilly and full of tight, narrow, uneven roads. For street sweeping, maneuverability is key here. Elgin selected an independent owner-operator with significant experience working with the Pelican in a variety of applications, including road milling, municipal sweeping, and standard contract sweeping, such as parking lots, commercial developments, and transfer stations. Once again, the contractor was pleased with the sweeping performance, the ease of operation, and the cab ergonomics. They were especially impressed with the pressurized cab that kept the operator's compartment clean and comfortable, even when sweeping in the rough conditions at the transfer station. From Boston, the new Pelican test headed out west to Colorado, where the prototype easily handled the high altitude and cold, heavy snow conditions in Denver. While the Beta Pelicans were being tested in the field with customers, Elgin was performing its own rigorous sweeping tests at the factory. Feedback from both the customer tests and Elgin's in-house tests led to some necessary design adjustments prior to final production, not stopping until everyone was satisfied with the results. So, after all this work, does the new Pelican meet or exceed the requirements established by our customers? Yes. All agree that the new model of the Pelican delivers improved visibility, greater noise suppression, superior ergonomics, enhanced operator comfort, increased ease of operation, improved serviceability and easier maintenance, increased stability, a cleaner cab. But most importantly, it has the incredible sweeping performance equal to or better than the current Pelican model. With so much to offer, there is little doubt that the legend will continue with the new Pelican. For more information or to request a demonstration, contact your Elgin dealer or visit us at www.elginsweeper.com.